Welcome to week nine of our class, and I hope you've had a great spring break. I sure did. I didn't go very far, but it was um, wonderful, still the same. Nice change of pace. So we are halfway through the semester. It's hard to believe. May will be here before you know it. Uh, I want to tell you, so many of you are doing a great job in the class, and those of you who are having a little bit of struggle, I want you to be successful, but I can't do the work for you. I have reached out to many of you, and I mean, there aren't many of you who are struggling, but those of you who are, and um, most of you have uh, responded back to me, and we've actually talked, some even over spring break. Um, midterm grades went out, and uh, it's important for you to realize that we still have about 500 of the 1,000 points you can earn this semester, so if you aren't doing very well right now, you can... Um, still make that up. You don't have much wriggle room if you're struggling, but um, I'm here to help, so please email me. So this coming week, this is the weekly announcements for week nine. Um, I was supposed to be gone all week for a conference, but that got changed because of that nasty coronavirus. Um, by the way, make sure you're washing hands, you're um, keeping your immune system strong by eating well and being active and sleeping well and uh, taking good care of yourself. But um, I am going to be off and on campus this week. My office hours won't look the same, so if you need me, please email me, and we'll either talk by phone or we'll set up an appointment for at some point during the week. All right, so in terms of um, your assignments for this week, let's take a look at those. All right, let me switch over here and bring up week nine, which we are on right now. Um, okay, so you're watching, of course, the weekly announcement video. I am gonna be opening up a midterm feedback video so that you can have um, some feedback on the various questions. There are a few people who had some illnesses and haven't taken the midterm, so I will let you know when that opens. I am not gonna be publishing it yet. Um, because there are still a few people to take the midterm. In terms of um, your assignments this week, you're going to see that you actually have three. They're all lectures, and there's no discussion forum this week, um, and you're not going to be reading anything out of a book. I'm giving you this week to kind of transition back. You do need to purchase the two books that I said you're going to need um, we're actually going to start reading them next week. They are called Design Your Life, and um, then there's a workbook, Design Your Life workbook. You can find um, specifically who the authors are if you go to the syllabus. And, you know, as I think about this, these three lectures here and what we're going to be focusing on this second half of the semester, we're going to really um, bring home some of the topics that Dr. Tweedy talked about in Black Man in a White Coat. And that's really a lot about what these three um, lectures are on this week. But we're also going to be um, parallel to that. Uh, we're going to kind of really be doing two things. We're going to be thinking about how we can make the healthcare system better once we get through talking a little bit more about Dr. Uh, Tweedy's book, um, because we spent the first half of the, half of the semester looking at um, what the healthcare system is all about, and now we're going to be moving forward to um, ideas on how to improve it. And at the same time that we're going to be doing that, the second thing that we're going to be doing is continuing to dive deep and to try to look at what you want your life to look at professionally and personally as you um, go through college and graduate and start working. And so I think you're gonna really enjoy the second half of the semester. It's not quite as heavy um, with the books. So good job um, for many of you who did all your reading the first half of the semester. All right, so this first um, lecture is called the Illness Wellness Continuum. And if you'll notice, this is due on Wednesday. You always have something due Wednesday and something due Sunday. So this is due Wednesday. And what I do is I actually um, take the illness wellness continuum activity that we did 
before break and kind of go through that with you and connect it to Dr. Tweedy's book. Then um, what I do with this second one is I talk to you about, there's actually two videos with this one. And the first one is um, I define social determinants of health and health disparities and um, go over a case study with you. And then the second video, I introduce the assignment and the case study that you'll need to do in order to um, earn your 20 points for this week. So if you, I'm going to go ahead and open that and show you something about it. So it has these two videos and then it tells you to watch both videos, follow directions in the document below right here. And you're just going to basically upload your answers to that to get your 20 points. All righty. And then we go back to our modules to January. I'm sorry, to week nine. I'm not sure if I said this, but in this one, you have embedded questions uh, within the video that you'll be answering. And then this one, um, the third one is called Health Literacy. This is actually a TED Talk from a, uh, a woman who is a um, professor and she um, talks about something called health literacy. And then you have a few questions that I ask you about, which I'm going to open that and show you. So basically watch the video and upload these answers in one or two sentences. What's the video's focus? And then share two ideas that stuck with you or resonated with you that you'll try to remember when working with clients or patients in the future. All right. And um, her name is Dr. Lisa Fitzpatrick, and she's, she does a really nice job. Okay, so that is your work for this week. You've got three assignments to do. This one is due by Wednesday, the other two by Sunday. Your next thing is to purchase your books if you haven't already done so, but you don't have any books to read this week. Just um, doing some work online. You guys have a great week. I will let you know when the um, midterm is available, the feedback where I go question by question and give you some input. Have a great week.